Welcome to the show, In the Arts. I'm your host, Will Nichols, and uh, we've got a very special show for you uh, today to look at, and uh, I have a special guest that on the show here. We go back many, many years uh, with uh, mutual musicians and whatnot, and it's my honor and privilege uh, to introduce to you Mr. Calvin Keyes, a, a premier guitarist. Mr. Will and, Nichols. And, and, uh, and, and a good friend and a uh, man strong in the arts. And uh, so anyways, a few, a few th things that I would like to ask you about, uh, I guess the most obvious question is, is how did you get started and interested in playing the guitar? It's, uh, uh, you know, it's how did, just how did you came to be formulated to, to pick that instrument? Well, my uncle was played the guitar. You know, I was from a family of uh, 14, eight, on, eight boys and six girls. My uncle played guitar and I was the first grandchild, so mm -hmm. I think I had a few more special privileges, but <laughs> all my brothers and sisters was loved. So, but anyway, I used to watch him play guitar. Mm -hmm. He used to play the Delta Blues. And uh, when I came home from school, I used to sneak down in the basement, hook it up and fiddle around with it. Mm -hmm. And I was a little nervous because he always told, he told me my and my two cousins if he caught us with the guitar, he was going to break our arm or something, you know, but I was daring. So, you know, I'm always trying to learn things. That's when you're young, you do that. And so one day oh, yeah. he caught me. So I'm waiting on him to pop me. <laughs> and he said, I know you've been coming down here playing my guitar, Calvin, nephew. And he said, play something for me. So I played this little lick. I watched him play. Mm -hmm. He said, how'd you learn how to do that? I said, watching you, huh? And uh, I played another little old lick, I think. Oh, yeah. Linda Lou, I think oh, it was. Yeah. I heard it on the radio. Uh -huh. But anyway, he said, oh, you figured that out, too? I said, yeah, you know. And I said, you know, I'm working at the car wash. On the weekends, when I get me enough checks saved up, I'm going to buy me a guitar. Mm -hmm. And he said, really? I said, yes. He said, well, you can have that one. Man. I said, huh? He said, yeah, go on and take it. Oh, man. So he evidently seen something or heard something. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think man. I was what? 13 years old. Yeah, see it. So I took uh, that guitar home. We was living in the projects. And so mm -hmm. the next six months, police used to knock on my door every morning around 2, 3 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning and say, Mr. Young Man, will you turn your guitar down? People are trying to sleep. Mm. And that was the beginning of it. And I had no idea I would be making a living as a professional. So that's how I got started. You well, know, Nebraska. Well, man, it sure is a, a blessing, man. You kept going. I'm glad you got started and you're still going. And you're evolving still, man, getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Well, they say and you don't get older, you get better at whatever you do. There you go, like fine wine. I'm still, still, still searching for that note. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, always, I, <laughs> I find myself doing the same thing on the piano, man. And, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you know, just music is just so fascinating and such a wonderful way of expression. I can't, it would take more time for me to describe it. I, could, I, I, get, uh -huh. I could just get excited, man. And it's so so much about uh, so much of it's about life and about living, and uh, it's so strong. Well, and music more, is about all that. Oh, absolutely. And uh, that lead uh, that leads into what I was going to say about uh, a life force. You know, uh, uh, Dwan's label. Now he, you guys. Well, we. I'm on some of his things, and you are too, as well. Mm -hmm. And he's still going strong with that. Uh, life force record started life by force. him and Billy Higgins, the late Billy Higgins. Right. Absolutely. Down in the uh, Lamert Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to go through there when I was living in L.A. I used to go through there and jam mm -hmm. with Billy and Rose Gales, Larry Gales, his wife, and mm -hmm. 
That was the beginning of a very exciting experience in this music called jazz, which mm -hmm. we later found out that it's called American classical music. Oh, okay. And I lived there about five or six years. I ended up working with Ray Charles. I worked with Ray for off and on for 30 years. Mm. And uh, then I moved to the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. Because it was the first time I came to the California was in 1961. Oh wow, you beat and, me out uh, here by, by oh, a long shot. And yeah. it was we were working at the Fillmore at the Booker T. Washington Hotel with Charles Sullivan. Okay. And Fillmore was all black. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I never recovered. That's why mm -hmm. I'm in the Bay Area today because the experiences that I had in the early feel more so much music mm. and so many different musicians and so many clubs that you know I said oh this is it so <laughs> I ended up moving to the Bay Area yeah because that's always and a very, I'm still here yeah that was a very exciting time for uh, like uh, like cats came through the miles and all of them came through the different places everybody that was I mean, playing was I had cannonball all of them man and whatnot oh, yeah. did yeah. you remember Norman Bishop Williams the alto <laughs> player from from Kansas City Yes, of course I do. Yeah, he was playing up in San Francisco. In fact, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, all, well, I, 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 I played with him in a little uh, place uh, up from the, the, the trolley turnaround. Um, anyway, uh, he was playing at this little uh, restaurant. In fact, uh, my lady friend and I, we were up in San Francisco. You know, I don't need to tell you, San Francisco's so romantic, man. It's one of them nights like you could hear uh, music from different areas. You hear some blues down there, you hear some jazz, you hear some rock, but it's all coming, you know, like at once, but, yeah. it, but it doesn't get in the way of each other. No. But I heard this alto playing, man. I said, man, this guess, guess can't sound like Charlie Parker. Where is that at, man? So we went around the corner and went up this little club, and that's where he was well, in there. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, they had a big grand piano up there, kind of like in the window and whatnot, and he was in there. Yeah, I remember Norman. Yeah, he's well, gone. the reason He's-The reason I mentioned him was mm -hmm, because yeah. when I was here working with Frank Edwards at the Booker T. Washington Hotel, Charles mm -hmm. Sullivan, mm -hmm. we were off on Sundays, so he came and got me and said, come on, Keys, I want you to hang out with me. Mm -hmm. I knew him in Kansas City. Oh, okay. Because I'm from Omaha. We broke bread together in Kansas City. So mm -hmm. we're going. I said, where are we going? He said, we're going over to the jazz workshop, and we're going to hear this cat named Miles Davis. I said, who the hell is Miles Davis? Man? He <laughs> said, well, we're going over. I want you to check him out. I said, okay. <laughs> so I go in, and we go in the workshop, and I'm sitting on the couch next to Cannonball Adderley. Mm -hmm. Miles is walking around. And um, Bishop and John Coltrane went in the back of the room, and they was practicing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, it was just another gig, meeting some other musicians. Mm -hmm. But as I kept living and kept getting involved in this music, I realized what has taken what had taken place then. Mm -hmm. I was introduced to some of the greatest musicians that will ever live on this planet. Oh, and I was not even aware of it. Well, but, mm -hmm. you know, so I figured that that was an omen. 30 years later, you know, mm -hmm. and I got a chance to meet. Oh man, Train, it's a blessing. Miles and Cannonball mm -hmm. and all the cats. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had no idea of the company that I was in or well, what was coming to me in my life. So. Well, well, we're all blessed, and you out there and always be blessed for your experiences coming through that guitar on this show, man. I can't wait to hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay. uh, uh, and I, I know that uh, there's a culmination of his experiences coming through the beauty of the music, man, and here you are now, able to m motivate that sound, man. Give and, it back. And give it back, yeah, man. So yeah. what I'm gonna do, I said, I'm gonna ease out of the way and sit over there and enjoy the sound, man. Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Nichols. Yo, sure. And we'll finish our talk in a minute. All right. I'm gonna play something, I don't know what I'm gonna play. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
grown accustomed to it, Chris. And here's another song that Denny Zeitlin wrote called Quiet Now.
Say, man. Oh, man. You oh, man. You, you're playing, man. We're going to try to wrap this thing up. First of all, you have a CD. Folks have a CD. You want to catch some of these tunes. The name of the CD is called Close Enough for Love. And here it is right here. And uh, I'm going to expand a little bit on this a little more. Be my guest. Be and here. then this is uh, my latest contribution. And it's called Close Enough for Love. And I got a picture of my beautiful wife and my lovely daughter. Mm -hmm. And that's what this music is representing. It's mm -hmm. all about the love that we have as family. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely. It's like I keep saying, my, 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 uh, I have a saying mm -hmm. that I like to refer to. Mm -hmm. And it's the creator I have lived long enough to know the Creator will not give me no more than I can handle. Mm -hmm. So I try to share that with the rest of the world. And also because you're sharing, God know your website, man. Well, how can uh, people get in touch? You can go to CalvinKeys.com mm -hmm. 
That's my website. And I, my Facebook is Calvin Keys at Hotmail.com. Mm -hmm. And that's Keys, K E Y S, one E. And if you go there mm -hmm. and uh, go to my website, and you can get all the information that we have accumulated over the last 61 years. Ooh. That's how long I started playing oh, guitar 60 man, years ago. Man, that time flies, man. Somebody asked me how long I've been playing as an hour. And to show you how blessed <laughs> I am, time. I'll be 75 years old in another few months. Oh, man, God bless you. And this is my 20th year anniversary to a quadruple heart bypass. Mm -hmm. All right. So, All right. Amen, man. He ain't going to give us no more than we can handle. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely the truth, man. Absolutely. Well, thank and, uh, you for having me, Mr. Oh, Williams. man. You, you made the show happen. And folks, by the way, if you want to contact, if you got any uh, opinions, or like to know what your ideas about the show is or what you think about the show, contact me at Wilbur underscore Nichols at, uh, let's see, Wilbur underscore Nichols 2003 at yahoo.com. I'd be glad and love to hear your comments on the show and whatnot. We certainly had some good shows, especially more shows like this one uh, to present fine artists and just people in the community at large that have uh, different ideas and different expressions on different things. And uh, it seems like I'm speeding question. here. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Hopefully I've covered everything. Anyway, but I would like to... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you again for having me. Of course, me. man. You and I'd like to come back and do your show and bring my group. You're welcome, man. That door is open permanently. So when you have another opening, give me a call, please. I would love to come down there and bring my band. All right, man. And you got that. Beautiful. So I don't know. Uh, I think we, and we would ahead. like to acknowledge all the presence of oh. these beautiful gentlemen we're working with. Mike. No. Well, I said thanks to my and crew. And Mike. Yeah. All right. Go and ahead. <laughs> who's this gentleman? <laughs> Well, thank you all for having me coming down, and it's really been a, been a beautiful experience for me to work with you all. And I'm looking forward to seeing the video and remember, and the TV show. And remember, in the arts is the place to be. It's happening. We always got something happening. And again, I always thank my crew. We, we thank <laughs> my illustrious crew for being on hand and doing such a great job. So uh, uh, without more, I was saying, man, me running my mouth, would you uh, do the honor Yes. I'm playing something out, brother. Okay. And y'all, in the arts, place to be. Mm -hmm.